struggling. Every time the burning feeling comes, you give in. Every time a thought comes, you give in. There's a cycle, there's a loop, a feeling of despair that is traded for that second of pleasure, trading your soul for pleasure. Well, I wanna encourage you brothers, it is Jay from Forever Blessed Ministries and I'm gonna be going over seven ways to overcome lust and temptation. Bro, when the Holy Spirit touched me, bro, I was never the same, bro. The only purpose in life is to follow Jesus. Jesus Christ. Number one. So guys, the first way to overcome lust and temptation is to worship, pray, and fast. And it's like the three in one, it's like the Trinity, because this is really like a trio to overcoming this sin. These are things that we all need as, as Christians, as people who follow God, because if you're not connecting to God and you have a lack of God, then Satan, he's going to come in and he's going to try to tempt you. He's going to try to come into your mind. He's going to feed you the thoughts. And I'm going to give an analogy. Let's say there's two people, a good person and a bad person, and they're fighting, you know, and let's say the good person is your prayer life, your fasting life, your worship life, and the bad person is the flesh, just the, the natural human instinct. You want to know who's going to win the fight, the one that you feed the most. If you're on Instagram, if you're scrolling, if you're not worshiping, if you're not praying, if you're not seeking the Lord. Because we're in a spiritual battle and we have to know that Satan comes to still kill and destroy but we know that God, he came to give us life in abundance, that he took the keys from hell, that he's given us victory over sin. But we need to know the severity of this sin. So I'm going to start off with a verse, Matthew chapter 5, verse 30. The word of God says that if your right hand caused you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown in hell. And that is the severity of this sin. And I'm going to leave you with a testimony because I know that someone needs to hear this. Um, Actually, like almost two years ago, be right before my baptism, I was tempted to fall into um, sexual sin. And I knew that I was not going to go to my baptism in shame and guilt and despair. So I knew I literally told God, God, I don't even know how to sing or worship. I'm just going to worship you all night until this temptation goes away. And I was literally rapping. I didn't know how to sing. I didn't know any hymns. I didn't grow up in the church, but I was literally just like pouring my heart out. Like, like Jesus, fill me up. And I was just like singing so much, pouring my heart out to God. And literally like, probably like an hour or two into it, when I just had my heart positioned in the right place, I felt his hands literally grab my chest and that heavy, like burning, weighty eerie feeling of lust was just ripped out of my chest and it's like he took it and just threw it away so these are definitely things that every christian needs to have to see victory in this sin and it has to be consistent it can't be a one minute 30 second popcorn microwave prayer session thank you god for this blessed day um Thank you, God, for here. No, like you have to go deep, deep, call it for deep. But I just want to encourage you guys with that. So the second way, guys, to overcoming and seeing victory over this sin is to guard your eyes because your eyes is a gateway to the soul. And the word of God says that if your eye is full of darkness, if your eye is bad, then your whole body will be full of darkness. So what are you feeding your eyes? Are you guys feeding your eyes with, you know, um, Judy with the with the booty? Are you feeding your eyes with Chad, with the with the pecs, with the muscles? Or are you guys feeding your eyes and, and your mouth with the word of God, with worship, with singing? And literally, guys, it, it's bad in the gym. And, and gyms in, in 2022, almost entering 2023, people are basically going naked. And there'd be times where I'd be working out where I'd just be like that. Or times where I'd be walking in the mall just like that, walking, like not even looking because, you know, if you really give Satan an inch, he'll always take the mile. If you open the door and he walks in, you know, he's going to go the full mile to destroy. So guys, the next way to seeing victory over the sin is by guarding your heart. 
You see, the word of God says that the heart is deceitfully wicked above all things. Who could understand it? Because you might not even be wanting or desiring it in your mind, but if it's in your heart, then Satan, he's going to come and tempt you when you're the most vulnerable. At the most vulnerable time, he's going to send that woman that you've been desiring. He's going to send that man that you've been desiring. And he's going to really have you fall and have you lose your whole foundation. And even if you're good in the day, he's going to come in the night. He's going to send that woman in your dream. He's going to send that man in the dream. And it's going to be a test because the devil doesn't rest. But we have to really see what our heart is desiring because we need to ask God to perform surgery in our heart. Because you see, when I didn't have a, a heart for God, when I wasn't putting him first in my heart, when I was letting things like Instagram and social media take over my heart, Deep down, I was desiring woman. I was desiring a relationship because I felt lonely. But loneliness is just a lack of God. But when you're really in his presence and you're desiring him first, you're not going to feel alone. It doesn't matter if you're actually alone. You're not going to feel lonely because you have God. You know that if he's for you, then he'll be against you. But I just want to encourage you guys to, to really guard your heart and to pray this with me. Pray this every day. Pray, Lord, break my heart for what breaks your heart. Because when you pray that, God is going to show you what he hates. And God, he hates this sin because this sin defiles you guys. The word of God says that when you fall into sexual sin, you're not just sinning against God, but you're sinning against yourself. To flee from it. Don't even fight it because temptation with lust is very strong, guys. It's not something that you can really fight and be like, oh, I got this. I'm going to go to the club. I just won't talk to any woman or I'm going to go on Instagram, but I'm I'm not going to lust after. No, you got to really flee from it. You got to turn off the phone and guard your heart. So, yeah. so the next way to overcoming this sin, guys, is by having accountability by having someone to really hold you accountable to really confess your sins like hey man hey sister hey brother like this is what i got going on because when you bring that darkness to the light the darkness can no longer stay in the darkness because it has been brought to the light and in chap in chapter 28 in proverbs verse 13 it says whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy you know, if you're hiding your sin, if you're in shame and you're in deception, you're not only deceiving others, but you're deceiving yourself. But I just want to encourage you guys to confess to others, to really have that accountability. Because if you have godly counseling around you, it's going to be easier to be like, hey, this is what I got going on. And, you know, you can really have that prayer and spiritual and physical support. And guys, the next way to overcome this temptation is by really guarding your mind and your thoughts, you know, what are you thinking throughout the day? The word of God says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every thought, imagination, and argument that tries to exalt itself above the knowledge of God. And I'm going to show you guys what I do. And this might look crazy, but this is literally like how to take captive every thought. It's almost like an airdrop. And I'm going to put a little like video so you can see how airdrops look like. But literally, like every time a, a perverted or lustful thought comes, literally, you have to hit decline, decline, decline. Like literally, there'd be some times where I'd be getting these thoughts and I literally like put my hand on my head and I'd be like, I send you to hell. I send you to the pit and I'll like whisper it under my breath or like even I'll, like, let's say I'm out in public and I'm getting tempted. I'll literally be like, I send you to the pit. I send you to the pit. Decline, decline, hell, you know, like. Literally, like, that is the supernatural spiritual reality that God wants us to enter, to realize that we're in a war, guys. Like, I didn't sign up for it, but I knew what I signed up when I gave my life to Christ. I knew that this is the warfare that comes with being a Christian. So really taking captive. The last way to overcoming this sin is go for deliverance, guys. If you've really been praying, fasting, and reading the word, and you haven't been seeing victory, you feel like, a compulsive urge to really fall into this sin. It can be demonic, guys. And, you know, Christians can have demons, but a demon can't have a Christian. You know, we have power in Jesus. And I'm going to recommend a book. It's called Prayers That Route Demons. And if you go to a certain um, page, page 96, 
there is actually a renunciation prayer and deliverance prayer to be set free from the demon of lust, from the demon of perversion. But it's only in Jesus Christ that you'll see the victory. Because um, the word of God says that if you go to sin after being set free back to the back to your vomit, basically it's going to come with seven more demons, even wickeder than itself. But just know that deliverance is the children's bread. That once you're set free, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys want more content like this, um, just comment and support. This video is, if it's really been an honor to just be here. Um, I'm going to be street preaching very soon. Um, it's just very cold. I'm back in New York. But um, yeah, it's Jay from Forever Blessed Ministries. And God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Amen.